Hello, I'm Sarah Poet, and it's good to be here with you. Um, it's a January morning, and I was just walking with my dog through the woods, and a lot of earth energy and earth transmission and light language started to come through, and I really felt to share with you today. So I just got home from my hike, and I'm sitting down <laughs> to, to share this, um, which is still a bit unusual for me to share publicly the, you know, transmissions that I've been doing for years, you know, in light language, in journeying, um, in channeling. And what's coming through recently, which is exciting, it's exciting to me, and we're in some space of the unknown, I think, um, is really like channeling and clearing down into the earth. Okay, so um, just a little bit of information here about energetic architecture before we begin a clearing and a transmission and a share for, for anyone watching, anyone interested. Um, so we often think of spirit, when we think of the spiritual realms, we think about what goes up and beyond the body. So our feet are on the earth and then we have our body and we've all heard about the seven, seven chakra system and that's been a system that's been widely taught and pretty accepted and then you know that that system of the energetic architecture that's actually much bigger than the chakras um, continues to go up and beyond the body, um, you know, to correlate with dimensionality. So you can go to the 12th dimension to oneness and beyond um, in your energetic light body, which is exciting and important. But as I was walking today, um, I was reminded that the heart is the center point for really your energetic body. And I'm still adjusting to this information as well. It's pretty exciting. And so lately, <laughs> I'm, you know, like we've spent a lot of time in those upper realms, those upper regions. And then now it's like, well, what's down below, right? And I've been earth worker, grid worker, aware of that aspect of my soul for a few years. And um, so now, you know, spirit and and the guides and the earth and and the um it's like the the intelligence in the earth and there's actually like guardians and guides in the earth as well and we have um earth connection and i think we actually have an extension of our energetic architecture that goes down and in and so today i think we are clearing some of what has been like blocking our connection to earth. Um, why is that important? Well, um, if the heart is the center point of who we are and there's an energetic body that goes up and there's an energetic body that goes down, I don't know about you, but I want the full range of the truth of who I am in my energetic body. And so I want that earth connection. And I'm actually feeling it these days as a big component of like how we live on earth and our prosperity and like what we're able to hold um, in our energetic bodies, in our physical like physical world, physical realms. Okay. Um, and so, you know, in Kundalini yoga, which I practice nearly on a daily basis, they say like the, the extent to which you can penetrate with your energetic aura downward and into the earth is the extent to which you can hold your prosperity. And this is making a lot of sense to me because it's that physical material, you know, matter, mother, physical realm, right? which is really beautiful and really exciting. And so back to this like heart as the center point here, we have all kinds of um, like distortion about what a cross is based on like all of the religious um, like dogma that we've been fed. And so the, the cross that we've been shown is a disproportionate cross. <coughs> Excuse me, I forgot to sit down with water. 
And um, as I start to talk about this, I start to clear my throat. And then my cat also just like made a cry. I don't know if you heard that. So there's a lot of like clearing of that um, energy going on. And so um, the, the cross is actually like an equidistance um, geometry. And I want to invite that. I want to invite that the cross is this equidistant geometry and that your heart is at the center of it. Right? The cat's like, right? <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. Um, so, so as we're, we're looking at like, oh, if, if my heart is actually the center of my energy body and the center of like how heaven and earth come together, you know, in me, inside of me. It's like this direct portal, you know, to, to the divine, to truth, to all of it. Um, and it's inside of you. And so that changes everything, right? And so we want to actually open up the energy channel that goes down and to the center heart of this planet, Earth, Sophia Gaia. And so I want you to picture the heart of the planet, the center of the planet, as you can picture like a heart, you can picture it like a diamond heart, like a plasma diamond heart. Sometimes I see it like a diamond. Sometimes I see it like a moving plasma. And so you can just right now, just go ahead and close your eyes. And in Heartland, a, a transmission that I teach, we say from the heart of ourselves to the heart of source, that's where we connect into unity, into oneness, kind of above in our energetic body, and then heart of earth. And so get that vertical column established for yourself now if you choose. We're going to begin more of an energetic transmission and less of my talking. And so inviting everyone in their own sovereign choice and their own sovereign light body connected to the all that is. I call that the Christos Sophia, the Mother, Father, God, pure oneness, calling in that energy, the Christos Sophia, calling in the guardians of the holy oneness, union, love, light, and truth. And so that anything that comes through this transmission be intended for the love of all and for our evolving earth connection, heart of earth, heart of self, heart of source connection. And may I be guided to transmit what I am sensing this morning wants to come through to clear debris and to clear, um, like, it's like a gunk. It's like a hardness that I'm seeing um, that's like in the space below, you know, below you, below me, below us, below into the earth. And that is blocking the connection to uh, this transmission of Sophianic plasma living light that wants to come like up and, and through. Um, and actually I'm also seeing that like that clears the grids of our energetic body. So um, not to use too many confusing terms here, but I see the energetic body as a grid and we also share like the earth has a grid. We have a grid. You can think of it like, um, you know, if you go get acupuncture, there's like meridians in the body. That's an example of like an energetic flow in a geometry, you know, that, that we have. And then the earth also has it, but I see energetic, um, architecture a lot of the time when I tune in, um, in sessions and, um, when I tune into this. And so there's been breakages in the energetic architecture. It's equally as important to clear the energetic energy going up to source and to heal and mend those, those connections, um, in the energetic grid and light body and repair those. And well, you don't do it and I don't do it. Our egos don't do it, but you know, we can be like conduits for this and we can invite it to happen. And so that, that repair is so, so, so important. And the Christos Sophia is at work even now as you close your eyes and feel into this. And so 
the energetic architecture also wants to be established and rebuilt and cleared and um really it's like an honored it wants to be honored you know down below our bodies as well so taking a few deep breaths here and tuning into the solar plexus the belly and the root and then um, taking a few full breaths bringing the air really fully in to that space you're going to hear me use light language in this transmission and um, yes it's light even if it's down in the earth right and I may also make other sounds or snap or use my breath in various ways so I want you to use the exhale as a way to ground down um, which isn't a forceful thing it's like a you know if a balloon were deflating you're squeezing all of the air out of your exhale and bringing your attention and your consciousness way down into it's actually like your coccyx like the your tailbone and that's where we're going to begin Taking a few breaths there. Beginning to feel the coccyx begin to make contact with the frequency of the earth so you can even imagine that you're sitting on the earth or um, just feel the pairing of the frequency so there's this grounding in in you and then pairing that with the soil Going ahead and imagining that your, your feet are kind of in this like nice, rich, black soil and kind of sinking down in as your feet do as they stand beside the ocean and they like sink down into the sand. Just allow that to happen, you know, imagining an earth connection, imagining a nice, deep, rich soil and earth connection. And you should be starting to feel the pairing with the earth frequency. And if you don't feel anything in particular, that's quite all right. What you can do is choose to allow. You can choose to allow that frequency. So... Like there's an energy, there's it's an encouraging to take the the energy of the heels. Now you don't even have to be standing on the earth. I'm sitting right now, but I'm imagining this. So this is how I'm often shown things <laughs> in sessions and in guided meditations. So um, there's an energy that wants to be conveyed, and when we imagine the thing, then the energy can sync up and happen. Okay, we're like connecting circuits, even if it's with our imagination. So you take this um, picture as if you're standing on the soil and if you like bounced up and down on the balls of your feet and you felt your heels hit the soil a few times like like your heels are really in the soil I want you to go ahead and do that <sighs> Yeah, 
So now what's beginning to happen is that we're beginning to make more connection with these earth frequencies that are coming uh, or that, that are just available to us, but we don't even realize that they're available to us. Now we're starting to um, like interact with them, which is pretty exciting. Um, so feel whatever you're feeling, that's fine. And what's starting to show up in my vision and my mind's eye is um, like a little trickle of a crystalline water that's actually in the earth. And now our energy is, and now each person who's doing this at any point in time is sovereign in their energy field. Just because one person has one experience does not mean that the other person is affected by that experience, except that as we're doing this in a collective consciousness, um, it, it helps everyone, but it's not set up so that it can hurt anyone. So everyone is sovereign and free and connected to their own source God and then, or source heart, earth connection, however you say that. And then there's, there's um, like a mutual benefit, but there's no mutual harm. Okay, so if I have something that I'm clearing, it doesn't mean that you have to pick it up. Okay, so now, so the collective we, we're getting to this layer around some crystalline water, which is really beautiful, and, and we'll see where it goes. So there's a little clearing, so you can imagine your earth connection, the your heels, your feet down in the soil, uh, the truth of who you are beginning to be cleared and cleansed a bit by this crystalline energy you might feel some density moving off the body you can allow you can allow it to move up and off you can allow it to move into the crystalline water this clearing clearing gift that's happening Okay, and then there's a diamond frequency that's coming from the crystalline water. So there's a diamond that they're showing me that's like, you know, this this kind of shape, right? And they're actually showing it as an overlay kind of above the, the heart and throughout the energy field, but the diamond is at the heart. And it's a, like a pale gold and white light. And so you can bring that diamond energy into the heart. And as you do that, it's actually going to move throughout the energy field. So we're just going to it's clearing the grids of your energy. It's spinning a bit. You may see the spinning. It's so funny. My son made a ceramic pendant a few years ago. That's like this exact shape that I'm seeing in my mind's eye right now. And so he was like channeling that as he often does through his geometric art. And there's a little bit of brain clearing going on. throat, sinus, <sighs> so just taking a few breaths and allowing that to recalibrate your system. Now the guys are showing that we need to take that same diamond energy and make, kind of make it a bit bigger and have it above the whole spine. Okay, so down to that coccyx, up to the top of the head, and even beyond that a bit. And then it's going to do the same thing. It's going to do the, the clearing and then the amplifying. And I see it going in many directions. And 
spinning. Beautiful. Okay. Now just feeling that clearing and cleansing that happened inside the body and now feeling the connection down into the kind of earth circuits. And so how I see this is through four grounding cords. So you are like connected through the central channel. And then these special four grounding cords, I see these all the time for about two years. I've seen these specifically connected to the heartland and specifically connected to like this kind of grid work. The, the um, four grounding cords come off of the, like the hips, pelvis area, and you can intuit where they need to come off of. So it might be like front, back, um, it might be, you know, perfectly like east <laughs> you know north south east west like just imagine where they come off of your body feel it intuitively and then they they come out and they go out at a 45 degree angle down to the earth and then they go down inside of the earth so it's almost like if you're staking out a tent you know you pull the the string out and then you stake it down in and so that's how these grounding cords work they come out in the four directions or four directions from your body into it those four directions and then connect them from these you know you could call them base chakras or these uh, base areas of the body these grounding areas of the body and then pulling it out and down and establishing it down into the earth and these are grounding cords and these are going to run out excess energy that is no longer serving you so it'll run energy of trauma out of the body it will run um you know energy that's not yours sexual trauma um anything and these are things that we don't actually really need stories for um, when we're doing this kind of work because it's moving so much so that if we took time to tell <laughs> to like know all of the stories that was going on um you know we'd be in sessions for a long time and we don't have to do that anymore so it's it's like thank you for the efficiency right <laughs> we got a lot to do while we're on this earth so we might as well make it like impactful right um and like effective so when you set these cords and you just kind of are like give your consent for them to come on they're just going to clear and what i'm hearing is like clear your earth body so this is a really beautiful like reminder and remembrance that we are matter brought into form. We are creation brought into form. There's a lot of creation energy that is not brought into form. And so we are the matter, the body. And so um, this is our earth body. This is like our direct connection and now they're showing that as like one and the same like your earth body her earth body which is also a very important and significant um point to understand that like as we heal she heals as she heals we heal vice versa and this is an example of how we can be in partnership with that so you have your four grounding cords set we've done the diamond we're just doing what what shows up as um, divinely directed. Okay, and now we're gonna do this clearing down below. So here I'm being shown that there's nothing you really need to do. And what you can do is like focus on your heart and your breath, and also focus on your heart connection to the earth. And if you cannot feel that at this point in time, you can focus on the intention of your heart connection to the earth, okay? So, and what I actually want to invite you to do is hold both of those points of attention. So it's like you, 
you in your mind's eye are seeing your heart and the heart of the earth and you're seeing them both at the same time and you're like holding both of those points of attention if that makes sense to you and so holding one point of attention at your heart holding one point of attention at the earth heart and intending that connection and that is the magic because as that started and a lot of other geometry started so that's your job as you receive this transmission and I'm going to call this a clearing of that connection from your heart to the heart of the earth. So it's actually starting very deep inside the earth, kind of cleaning your earth heart connection. Great, so that was a lot of clearing from your heart connection to the earth connection. And there's a that, that um, let's call it like a connection or a portal is much more clear now. There's a little bit more at the very bottom. dusting off the very bottom. Good, and you may see like a warm yellow light or be feeling a little bit warmer because there's a lot more of the transmission from this earth heart, like up and into this source column. So receiving that. This is clearing that false like cross energy and and clearing um your your um like equidistant across uh, this natural heart cross um clearing that in a good way <sighs> So I think we'll begin to come to a close, but I'm checking in with these kind of earth connections because we went a little like bigger than I thought we were going to go with this. <laughs> it was like way more than what I was seeing in the woods. So I'm just checking in with, with the earth. I don't know what this is about really, but um, there's they're pointing again to like the connection with the base of the spine. So go again to the base of the spine, the sit bone, and imagine that you're sitting in the earth. And just really imagine that earth connection. So there's a feeling like gratitude, like the earth being grateful to reconnect with you in this way. 
you can definitely <laughs> rest assured that if you are seeing this video, you are supposed to be seeing this video because I do not record videos like this and post them on the internet <laughs> and something is telling me to do that. And so if you are watching this, this is for you. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, Aisha. Okay, we're gonna clear a layer of um, sexual misery programming, like in in women, especially in the feminine, and clearing it from the womb, um, like the anal cavity, the coccyx, the like all of these lower centers, clearing it. So give that to the earth now. Ah, yakaya he. Transmuting that through this heart of Sophia Gaia. And then if you feel to, you can connect to that plasma heart in the center of the planet and bring that frequency back up and through your core central channel and up and through and into your pelvic bowl, your uterus, your spine, your lower back, your hips. that diamond heart plasma light into your own heart Ooh. allowing it to permeate emanate throughout your body throughout that diamond light from before that diamond shaped light structure and then also attuning for a moment to your heart of source connection up above your head. Tune into unity, oneness, mother, father, God, source, God. Tuning into that. This is a blessing. This is about personal power, I believe. Feeling the equal distribution of energy on right and left, feminine, masculine, feminine, left, masculine, right. And then feeling it beyond the body. And I'm seeing two pillars on either side. So a gold pillar on the left and a gold pillar on the right. 
thanking the guardians of this space, thanking your guardians, thanking your soul for showing up, thanking 